So you're wanting to um, reset your toner cartridge. Right, to do this, okay, um, make sure you're switched on. Open the cover. Press X and back at the same time and then just back. And it gives you a menu. So the cover's just open a little bit, by the way. It gives you a menu. Scroll down to choose your cartridge. So if you had a standard black, then you choose that one and then you can reset it and it'll bring it back to 100% so you've got the high capacity black the standard cyan the high capacity cyan scroll down and you've got your magenta standard and your magenta high capacity as well as your yellow standard and your yellow high capacity now obviously if you're resetting the toner cartridge it thinks you really fitted a new one so if this is just to reset to get by please note that um, you're going to start ending up with copy quality issues and you need toner to lubricate the drums as well so it's, it's it kind of the option is really just to get you by that's what it's for I would say next on the list um, is to reset the drum counter so this in this corner here from the home screen if you hold that down for a few seconds it will then pop up with a menu. The first one is drum, so you can choose the drum. You've got your four drums, a black, cyan, magenta and a yellow. Uh, if the black is needing reset, you can just press yes. Uh, generally, mostly all three colour drums would mostly go at the same time. So you could reset each one of those. Now, if you run them over too long, past their life, which is 18,000 pages, you may start getting copy quality issues, but every page is a bonus. Next, if we go back, we've got the belt. Do you want to reset the transfer belt so you can reset it back to 100% as well? Okay, so we want to remove the drum unit to get to the transfer belt. So we lift the cover all the way up until it clicks. You've got your four drums, so I'm just going to take these out. Put them aside for now. And just put them on the table out the way. Now you can see the transfer belt here. It's got a green handle at the front, just here. You grab it, keep your hands off the belt, put your thumb on there, put your fingers on there. Uh, and then you can just basically take it out. There's your transfer belt. Underneath the transfer belt is the waste container. A WT223CL is the one for this machine. You just basically lift that as well. Just lift it out. That's it there. When it's full, just replace it. It's also got the transfer roller on there as well. Try and keep your fingers off that really. So when you get your new one, you just pop it back in like so and that's it and then your transfer belt if that's getting replaced now these do 50,000 pages waste box waste waste container does also 50,000 pages or up to 50,000 pages so when you put the transfer belt back in just pop it in that way first and then just pop it back in place like that remember don't touch the transfer belt with your fingers really this is the yellow drum here so um, normally you buy a, a rack of four drums at the same time and replace them after 18,000 pages. The toner cartridges come out of the box with a thousand pages from new and you can buy a, uh, additional toner cartridges, genuine ones that do a thousand pages and you can also buy the high yield ones that do 2,300 pages. So to take the toner cartridge out of the drum you have here this little green lever, you would press it, it lifts the toner up a little bit and then you take the toner cartridge out. So that's the toner cartridge, that's the drum unit. Now the drum is sensitive to light, you don't want to leave it out in the in the uh, in natural light for more than a minute or two, so I'm going to be pretty quick. So when you replace one of these, you can see underneath here this drum underneath you scratch it you lay it on the table you get it scratched you ruin it you'll have to fit another one again 
but generally speaking they're supposed to do 18,000 pages. Refit the toner cartridge, you see this here, there's one on that side as well, just pop them in like so, so you've got a little bit there that it fits into, pop it in there, locks into place like that. Okay let's uh, refit these drum units then, lift the cover because I did shut it for some strange reason. Move the sheet of paper that's uh, protecting the drums from the elements of the natural light. They're all colour coded, so yellow to yellow. And then you've got the magenta. The cyan. And the black. The black high yield does 3,000 pages. There we go. That's it fitted. Close the lid. And it should be happy. 